You're listening to Brew with the Bennets, which is now available on Patreon. Would you like an extra episode every week available to you on a Tuesday and also early access to the nor- n- normal episode? <laughs> Keep going. The normal episode, which comes out on a Sunday, you can access that on a Friday. This is all for the bargain price of £2 per month. If you would like to do this, then sign up now. Yes, sign up now. Sign up today. Welcome to the Brew Crew. My coffee looks weird. Well, it's, there's not much milk, is there? Mm. Not very nice. It's fine. Yeah. It's definitely decaf. Definitely decaf. Okay. I mean, you don't need full... It's not full bar. Yeah. Mine's full bar. Okay. We've started, by the way. Okay. Good morning and welcome to Brew with the Bennets. This is your weekly dose of two people rattling it out over the microphones just to be near each other and to have conversation and to catch up on what they've been getting up to. And this week we would like to say to you, what have you been up to? What have you been doing with yourself? And I'm going to talk in some sort of local radio voice (laughs) that will sound just like I'm on local radio. Can I just say as well, you didn't even take a breath there. I didn't want to. I met met someone this week and they spoke like that. Mm. And it's really weird. They went, and what we're going to do is we're going to sort that out and then we'll be able to get the parts have just come in. And then what I will do is I will get you that and then I will ring you. And then when they're here, you can pop in and collect it. So is it the lad down at the IT shop? I wasn't going to name him. I sort of skirted around it. Well, no, you've you've just said, and I'll get the parts and all this. So I knew it was about that. Yeah, did a fantastic job, but didn't. So you didn't do a very fantastic job of hiding who you were talking about. But didn't breathe. And it's really sort of weird when someone doesn't breathe. Just say to him, breathe, man. Man, breathe. Just There's take, no rush here. Take a breath, my no friend. No rush. We're in the fast world moving, fast yeah. world, fast moving world of IT, but you've Just got take time. Your time. You've got time to breathe in conversations. Just relax, relax. Through and breathe. take your time. Through the no need to rip the vine. <laughs> So good yeah, morning, so good, everyone. Good it is, as we record this live mm. from not a studio, from a kitchen here in uh, sunny East Midlands. Um, it really is, is a sunny day. It it's is such a glorious day. It's been two glorious days. Yesterday was Scotchio, and Tuesday was Scotchio. Can I just say yeah. though? I can just say yeah. you can sort of feel. I'm not religious, but mm. I'll tell you something now. It's whole. It feels spirit. The weather. It's a big week for Jesus, and he's brought the weather. Yeah. There's no coincidence there, is there? Yeah, there is. Jesus weekend, great, n- nicest weekend of the year. It's making me want to believe, I'm telling you. Big well, w- they big- say it shines on the righteous. Well, well done, JC. Big shout out to <laughs> JC. <laughs> well, big weekend for JC, isn't it? Easter, it's massive. It's a massive weekend. Massive weekend. Obviously, we're on Chocolate Egg Eve. So, so yeah, yesterday was Good Friday. We went to a charity Easter egg hunt massive it was absolutely and it's because the weather weather brings people out it's yeah weather increased donations by a thousand (laughs) pounds basically 50 percent up on last year nearly so it's a meteorological donations sun makes people give sun makes people give yeah yeah so i'm gonna tell that to tell that to people in africa mate no it don't work does it no well, actually, it does. Well, it does because, because drought in the sun. Yeah, it means we that we give. I think you're onto something. I mean, it sounded like a <sighs> really clumsy, really weird ill link. Risk. This, it, I mean, we're basically harking back to Band Aid, which was 1984. When I you mean, sun makes people give. No, I just think it makes people feel in a better mood. That's what yeah, we're saying. It lifts your spirits. It lifts your what spirits. Is it? Vitamin what? D. D. Don't you even know that? No. You do know that. That was one of your stupid questions. I hate this. This is what I, Gemma does. Not as much as I hate it with your ridiculous questions. You know the answer. You knew the answer to that. You know, Don't ask me when you know the answer. You knew it. It was vitamin something. I'm yeah, tired. Yeah, vitamin D. Yeah. You need some, obviously, to make your brain work. 
Go on. Carry on. <laughs> but anyway, Helen, it's lovely to be here. No, and oh, tell us what happened at that, that that you did. You were on the craft table. Yeah, I was on the craft arts and crafts. Five hours yesterday, ten till three. Five hours. Arts me and, and the Wilo, Sally Wilo, um, bashing it out. I mean, we didn't stop. And basically, kids love a bit of glue. Yeah. Bit of me- paint. Basically, mess. Um, but we had quite a few options, and I'd like to know which option you go for, Scott. I'm going to lay them out for you now. Okay. Polystyrene egg that you can paint or decorate, mm. option one. Yeah. Option two, bookmark made of foam, but you can decorate it with all sorts of gubbins. Right. Option three, decorate your own chick hanging decoration, again made of foam. Option four, paint a plastic sun catcher. So essentially, this is like a plastic see through. Um, egg with a design on it you paint in between the ridges and when you hold it up to the light the paint gives an iridescent sort of shine and um, it bobs your uncle that's option number four yes option number five can't remember why I think there's only four options paint the building Um, I would say uh, anything what are you going for anything where you're painting on polystyrene or plastic the paint never takes very well thank you and it just gets on my tits painting a polystyrene egg and then you have to rotate it because you want to paint the bit where Mm. your fingers is on but it's wet and you end up with paint on your fingers right and then it goes all straight in the bin right so i would go the chick that is off the you the chick that's pre-cut in the foamy thing right that you stick on and you can just stick it on and then leave right hear me out right okay so i'm I think I'm going to have to give a bit of feedback for next year's arts and crafts table. Okay, so this is my... This is high octane this, stuff. This no, is. but this is, it, it's very important because we... I, I'm not going to say we were the highlight of the of the gig. But well, you were busy. But we were busy, okay? So, so um, it's like when you go to a, a festival and yeah. there's, like, there's like a food stall yeah. and always the giros yeah. is always got a big queue. Or the burrito. Or the burrito. We were the burrito you of were the, the proceedings. You were the burrito of the Absolutely, 100%. Easter fair. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So um, I think, I mean, Sal made a valid point. Kids love mess and they love a bit of paint. So Mm. really what it was about yesterday was not necessarily the outcome. It was the process. So the kids were love. They were living their best lives, dobbing this paint onto these sun catchers. Okay. My only criticism would be is that the paint ended up everywhere. Well, okay. Yeah. And then it made the table sticky. Everything got covered in paint. When they came to collect their painted sun catchers, the paint hadn't dried. Some people would erect the sun catcher into the elevator position. The paint would run off the side of the uh, sun catcher because it hadn't dried. I did try to give advice to several four-year-olds, telling them, do not put massive globules of, globules of paint onto your sun catcher. Try and do it sparsely and you will have a much better outcome. They didn't listen to me. <laughs> They said, shut up, old woman. I'm globbing it on. But there's no way you can get a four-year-old to regulate the amount of paint they put on. I mean, They didn't want to hear my advice. No, of course they don't. And then, It was just like, look, yeah. I'll do what I want. Listen, old lady. Yeah, look, I pay my money. I'm making it how I, I want. I am going to paint this yeah. landfill up yeah. whatever way I want. <laughs> look, and then I'm going to give it to my mum and dad. Yeah. And we're going to leave yeah. it in the rain. Yeah. Look, it's fine. And then what All I'm, I'm going to say is, and also my advice about the polystyrene eggs was, as you've already said, shit. no, they're brilliant. They're very, very popular. They were the, always the go-to. Do you know what you need to do first? You need to emulsion them. No, forget your emulsioning. We ain't got time for that nonsense. What I did say to the kids was, look, this is a bit of advice. Take it if you want to. All right. This is me talking to a three-year-old yesterday. Look, I'm going to give you a pearl of wisdom here. If you want to run with it, do. If you want to ignore it and go off piste, that's your decision. You're going to have to live with it. Yeah. And I reckon that went down well. This with kid the just looked at me very at vacantly. Just going, who is this one? Very vacantly looking at me, but I think they understood what I was saying. I said to them, look, if you want to take that egg away today, yeah. right? And give it as a gift immediately. A gift. Right? It's not even a gift. Shush. It's a problem. No, it's if not. You want to it's give not. that Shh. egg it's as an a Easter problem. gift. It's an Easter gift. Shush. It's a gift. If you want to give it immediately with no waiting time, yeah. right? Listen to this. What? I've been there. I've done it. I've got some egg experience. I have, You're I've, like an egg Vietnam yeah, veteran. Yeah, yeah, I've been I've been stung by these eggs before. Let me tell you about my first egg. What you egg. need is anything that's self-adhesive. So what you can see on this table is yeah. an array of self-sticking 
stuff. Yeah. Okay. We've got gems. We've got flowers. We've got shapes. We've got little beautiful Eastern ready-made motifs. Stick them on until you are blue in the face. Yeah. And you will be taking that egg away with you immediately. Did you say... If you choose to ignore this advice and go with the paint... I'm telling you now, within 30 seconds, you're going to be highly frustrated and you're going to be very disappointed. You're going to have a wet egg. What's it going to be, child? What did they go with? I'll go with the stickers. Did they? Yeah, they went with the stickers. I was so glad. I really saved that kid that day. Shaking. Yeah, shaking. (laughs) Mummy. And then the parents go on. This woman's a bit frightening. Why don't you paint your egg? Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, it Just was like, brilliant. It was oh, a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant and day. Then, and then our... Tap, tap, tap on the table. That's <laughs> annoying, Scott. Um, <laughs> our kids came down yeah. and what did Liv oh, do? For fu- right, if, you, if, you, if we're going to write this, right, you couldn't write it, but you can write it because we know how it goes because we've been there, done that, got the bloody oh, T-shirt. She's amazing. So Olivia May, our daughter, uh, 12, nearly 13, is the clumsiest human um, known to man. Well, there's only one other clumsier person. Yeah, and that's her father. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but basically, uh, Liv came down late, so Scott had to drive her down because she can't get up early, obviously. And um, she said, "I'll have a go at the arts and crafts because she does like a bit of arts loves and crafts." She she got a new jeans on, brand new white top. No, it wasn't brand new. It was just well, clean, is what it clean, was. Yeah. She got my coat on. <laughs> She's wearing all our clothes. Um, and she proceeded to use one of these paint pens. Nothing was coming out, probably because it hadn't been pierced. She squeezed it within an inch of its life with the nozzle pointing directly at her face. <laughs> the said nozzle exploded. Blue paint was... No, it was orange, wasn't orange. it? Orange. Orange. The worst colour. Spammed onto... No, I said... It, <laughs> what did it... What did well, I you said I said jizzed. it jizzed all over her face. Jizzed into the corner of her eye. So she was like she'd been in a paintball battle. It had jizzed all up her t-shirt, Don't all onto her jeans. Just jeans. say not sorry. Spaffed. Just spaffed. say no. That's worse. Yeah, um, exploded. exploded all over her being. She was crying. This is a twelve reduced her to in her tears eye. in the eye because she was so distressed and also embarrassed. And how many that minutes she lost has she been it. there? About ten, ten minutes. So I bundled her into the toilets, dobbing her eye with wet tissue and water to w- rinse it out. It's amazing. We salvaged the eyeball. That was fine. But the T-shirt didn't make it. I mean, it was just beyond repair. And anyway, I said to her, do you want to put my hoodie on and cover up your stainage? She was like, I just want to go home. And I was like, you've been here 20 minutes. Yeah, but she said, I have had a hot dog and a cake. So she was happy with that. She'd eaten. Can I just say, it's like someone on a night out who's been sick down themselves. It's, oh, it's literally God. like, I, I think I'm done. I need to be taken home now. Um, so I was like, right, so I let me get this straight. I've been helping about 53-year-olds this morning to do this. And they've all, they've all coped quite well. Amazing. Enter 12-year-old and within 10 minutes, not only have you nearly blinded yourself... You've also annihilated each and every piece of clothing that you're wearing. Yeah, it's that's phenomenal. about right. That's Absolutely. about right. I said, right, let's take you home. But then she got home, right? Put her pyjamas back on. Put her pyjamas on. So within two hours, basically an hour and a half round trip, back in pyjamas on the sofa. She's, she's less she was daylight. exhausted. She sees less daylight than a bat. Yeah, one. she was exhausted. You're more likely to see a fruit bat out I felt than for her, I'm going to say. I, I felt for her. Two hours in the real yeah, world, yeah, back to hibernation. Yeah. The real world's dangeous, daddy. I'm yeah, putting my yeah. pyjamas on. You know, arts and crafts, you can, 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 can I keep just, it. Can I just say as well, yeah. though, she came back here and mm. made herself uh, like a kiwi yeah. and got a knife out the knife block and cut it so beautifully. Did she? And then I was just like, how can... She didn't can... eat it, though, did she? Yeah, she did. Did she? But how can one person be that, like, dexterous, dexterous and then yeah. shoots paint into their own well, eye? Well, I'll tell you what, I made, it's just a, a weird, I made like... her feel a bit better because there was a granddad who'd been yeah. about an hour earlier on the arts oh, and crafts granddad. with his granddaughter. And he did the same mistake. The thing that he didn't do was point it directly at his eyes. But it did literally explode Those. all over the table, all up the signage, onto the pub wall. Oh. I mean, I didn't fully appreciate how far protest. this had gone. Because I just saw the what was in I just pen? saw the aftermath near him. You know so what? I looked immediately at the spillage near him and I was like, oh gosh, I'm s- oh, this is awful. I said, let me get you a wipe. And he looked at me and he went, and he just pointed and, and I followed this trail of paint and it left him all up the sign on the table, like? over the sign, onto the far wall. I was like, 
Do you, oh, know, do you know what it's like? This it's is JFK. New. Yeah, it was literally... The magic paint. Yeah, the paint bullet. The paint bullet. So anyway, I was mopping that up and... Yeah. Do you know, you might as well have given them all blow darts for the, th- those paint yeah, pens yeah. for next year. Yeah, forget yeah, the paint yeah, pens. Yeah. The paint yeah. pens are a no. Okay. I've, I know but those paint pens. they had such good fun. I know what those paint they pens are them. like. They no, love the paint pens. they're a bloody nightmare. They're, but they love the paint they're pens. They're highly pressured. Look, we, look, we've survived. It's fine. Everybody's mm. okay. It's okay. Oh, God. Liv's not blind. It's all okay. It's so, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, God. So, yeah. well, so uh, anyway... That was that. It was, it was the, the most eventful crafting morning. It was, it was brilliant. like you came back here telling tales like you'd it's been to so good. Afghanistan so good. or something. Yeah. But brilliant. well done. I was going to talk about some other stuff, but we've got to mention this. <laughs> you said to me before we started this podcast, yeah. I've ordered a skipping rope. Right. Okay. Let's 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 break this down. Okay, so I got up early this morning because I got a hormone headache. It's another one of Gemma's fads, Gemma's fads. Right, up your arse. We've had the clarinet. No. We've had the piano. No, listen up, listen up. What other ones have we got? No, shush now. That clarinet. No, stop. You're annoying me. Stop it. It's not a fad. Oh, isn't it? Well, it might be, but uh, look, listen, 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 listen. Do you know who takes after you? Who? Olivia. Exercise bike. How many times has she been on it? I don't know. No, she hasn't once. been on once. That's nonsense. I might get one of these skipping ropes. Don't. Okay. Stop right, it. So anyway, listen up. Um, basically, I got up early because I had a hormone headache and I still can't get hold of my tablets. They're still not being produced. <laughs> so I had to take drastic measures because I thought Scott's going to have, he's going to commit Ari Carry when he knows that for the second time this week on a pod record day, I've got a bad headache. I'm starting to think it's connected to me. Yeah, well... It might well be. I, no, no, no. It, I've signed up for. A, no, I've signed up for a medical alert today yeah. for when Sindel drops at the docks. Exactly. And I'm going to go down in the Kia and no, I'm going to fill my. No, you've signed up to Lloyd's Pharmacy, I not am, the doctor. I'm going to fill my boot with no, Sindel. You'll only be allowed so many. But no, I'm going to sign up. I said to you, I'm going to do different names, yeah, aliases. Yeah, we're going to stock up. We're going to get as much Sindel as we can fit in this house. But anyway, yeah. So I got up early because I've got this bloody hormone headache kicking in, mm. and I thought bollocks. So I got up. Got on the sofa down here, took some, I took what I'd got, which was um, paracetamol and aspirin in the hope that the aspirin might get the blood capillaries opening up a bit in the old noggin. Yeah. And um, just just flicking through my phone mindlessly. And I came across this woman and her Insta account is 50 Sister. Right. Okay. So it's a lady who's 54. Yeah. And she is amazing. Okay. Right. Yeah. Love her to bits. And, and. Yeah. Again, what I'm really tapping into lately is forget diets, forget all that nonsense. Well, it's not nonsense, but well, it is a bit. Forget all of that. We don't, because basically. <laughs> in your brain, then you went, yeah. no, it's not. Yes, yes it, it is. is. Your little yeah. voices. Yeah. Well, I don't want to poo poo people who are doing a successful Ooh, diet. Well poo-poo. done to you. Although poo poo helps with diet. Carry on. Absolutely. But what we're finding is, is that women of a certain age, the mum tum is very much good and well yeah <laughs> and we want to yeah. try and get rid of the mum tum we want to shift a few pounds yeah we want to feel better in ourselves we want to counter low mood and anxiety with endorphins and health and blah 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 blah, blah. but what we're trying to do is we're trying to find something that's sustainable we don't want to be faddy we want to keep up with something that's going to make us feel good basically we're all looking for the easy option to be able to be fit and healthy mm. um so Something that obviously I'm doing lately because I went to this Joe Meadows nutrition evening is basically it's not rocket science. It's just eat better. Okay. So less of your shit and eat more stuff that, that, so the shorter the journey of the food from it being grown and produced to your mouth is better. Mm -hmm. So we know that. Yeah. So we're trying to up our veggies and fruit and stuff, which we're quite good at, aren't we in this house? And then, um, so that's good. That does make you feel better. Um, and then obviously getting your heart rate up. Now, obviously now y- you can suck on this, mate. <laughs> I, <just said> anything. <laughs> I started netball in August last year and I'm still playing and I'm really enjoying it. And we won 26, nine, by the way, last week. Brilliant. What's the um, suck on So this, I was mate? just going to say, that's not a fad. I've kept up with it. Okay? Fair play. Right. I hold um, my hands up. Also running back on my running, enjoying yeah. that. Can you run and play the clarinet? N- shut up. Um, and then... <laughs> <laughs> and by the way out there people thinking i'm running all the time i'm not i'm just a couple of runs a week and it's it's not mega we're talking four or five k brilliant 
Lovely. And then you came back and what was your hydrating drink of choice? What was it? A non-alcoholic beer. Yes, it was. <laughs> correct. With Liz. Um, it's not alcoholic though. No, it so is. Shove uh, that up your ass and all. Sorry. Try, you're trying to pull me down here. I'm doing I, well I am here. sorry. You know, I, hold my hands up. I okay. apologise. So I then... mean, I have seen Mo Farah smash his way through <laughs> some Bex Blue. <laughs> when when Mo runs yeah. across the line, he always gets if a you cool wanna, box If of you want Bex me Blue. to do my top five non-alcoholic beers in a minute, I will. And Bex Blue is not on it. Yeah, we will do that. Okay. Yeah. Um, right. And then, um, so obviously netball, brilliant, but that's once a week. Yeah. You know, so that's not... And in all fairness, I'm goalkeeper, so my heart rate ain't getting up that much. <laughs> and then, um, obviously, Zumba's coming back online in May because I've managed to rearrange some stuff so that I can go to that on a Monday morning. Yeah. Yeah, baby. baby. But this woman, God bless her, she's doing skipping. Yeah. Now, before you poo-poo it, this is amazing. I mean... Boxers swear by it, don't they? And gym goers, you know, it's become very, very popular. Can I just say, I did, yeah. I did boxer size at my gym oh. about three weeks ago. Yes, yeah. Uh, you were looking for your coffee. I was, not it? Yeah. I was did, I did boxer size, and you have to go around these stations, mm. right? So, like the first one is like they've got the rope thing where you pull. Like oh that, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Heavy yeah. Rope. That's hard. Then there's one where you've got like a medicine ball yeah. where you have to go up and yeah, then down, yeah, and then yeah. then there's another one where you had to do like. Uh, you put your hands yeah. there and you do you, like yeah. the, the mountain climbs, yes, they call yeah, it. I hate and that. And you went around these They're stations horrible. and there was step ups and stuff. Yeah. And then the one station that I was dreading every time Skip. I came around was skipping. Really? Because I could not do it. I looked oh, like a fucking no. idiot. And the thing was, is that I'm really good at it, skipping. It, I could do every other one yeah. I could cope with. And, and I got to the skipping. Yeah. And it was that moment where. I haven't skipped yeah. since I was nine. Yeah. And yeah. and I don't even know why I thought. Yeah. You know, as it was coming yeah. round, I was yeah. thinking, oh shit, I can't skip. Yeah, yeah. And I could see it coming. Yeah. And yeah. everyone else yeah. was there. Yeah. It, I, it, it was like younger people. Yeah. And they were, one of them, who was like, he must have been in a box because he was... Yeah, yeah. And you know, like the tiny oh, movement. Oh, I love it. And it was... Yeah, yeah. And I thought, I've got to go and do yeah, that next. Yeah. Well, I look like a fucking idiot. I really would I went, pay to see that. Can you have a go well, with my rate when it yeah, arrives? First of all, first time, what did yeah. I do? Gathered it on my ankles. Of course you did, Get, idiot. Then I sort of went like that and then I went... And then I did a thing where I, I jumped. You're not very elegant, no, are you? No, and, and I jumped and it, the, the noise was like an elephant but sitting down. But that's you down, running. You're so heavy-footed. Heavy foot. Then I trapped the thing. Then I went, do you know what I did the next time? Went like that, let go of the rope. Just fucked it across the room. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it went onto someone's medicine ball, Matt. I had to say sorry. And then I got it. And then I did, I managed to do one skip, but I ran over it. You know when you do, because I couldn't do two legs at once. Oh, God. So I did. Were like, you doing like horse gallops Yeah, like it? a <laughs> it looked like it was show jumping. Oh, <laughs> and I thought, this is where Liv gets it from. And I did one skip and I thought, I've got this. And he went, move on. <laughs> You're an idiot. You know what's going to happen. Nobody's going to ask you to play in the playground again. No. You're embarrassing. I can't do it. But yet the skipping, can you skip? Yes, I can skip. Were and you good at skipping at school? I loved skipping at right. school. And also... Because it was right. one of those things that everyone, when we were kids, yeah. everyone was yeah. doing it. And then, could you do the... Oh, Paul oh yeah, Anna. I loved all that. Loved all that. We had two rapes What did they used to sing? I don't oh, know what we sang. Anna don't, no, 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 shush. You don't know what you're singing. <laughs> I hate it when you do this. Don't do that. Pollyanna. No, you don't know Pollyanna. Don't, it's Pollyanna or something. I don't know. Pollyanna, then other way. But reverse. you don't know it. And you and just keep saying Pollyanna. It's annoying. I Unless you know solidly, if you know confidently what a skipping rape song is, go ahead and sing it now. Go. Polly, no, <laughs> you don't know it. So stop wasting our time. <laughs> Go on. Can you skip then? Yeah, I can skip. But the thing is, um, I probably am like a lot of people out there in that I cannot stick to putting a video on at home and doing some keep fit. No, not going to happen. And I am honest with myself. That's not going to happen. It's too close to the fridge for me. It, yeah. It's just, I've got no motivation. So I have to do an activity that kind of, it, it makes me do it. So for example, we've said this before, running, if you run away from your home, you mm. have to run back. Yeah. So for me, it's like I get out there and I have to come back. I, I say, I think there should be a thing where I say, I, I need to do something. Yeah. So someone should bundle you into the back yeah. of a van, yeah. drop you four miles away from home. It, and then you have to come back. Kick you out the back of the yeah, van and, and go, go, off you go. Off you go. Yeah, that's a great, great running t- 
it's, so it's, it's sort of like strategy. it's sort of like hostage. Yeah, can you imagine setting up a running club and basically you just bundle people into a bus, <laughs> drop them off all miles away, a bus, and go, a boot. Yeah, and you go right off you go. What would you like See to you do? Home. And you want to do a ten k? Yeah, or a half marathon, yeah, yeah. half marathon. Okay, yeah. junction five, the M one. Yeah, this off one. You go. Just leave you out. Yeah. All the best, mate. There's your Fitbit. Yeah. Thank you. Exactly. Just, but then the skip, so, skipping. But but I was going to say so netball. You've got the the weight of the team, so you yeah. got you can't let the, the team pressure. down. Yeah. yeah. So that makes you get up, yeah. get out, and you're playing a game. So it's like it's to achieve something. Same thing with me in a spin. Yeah. In a class. Yeah. Everyone's in the same class. Yeah. If you're not doing it, yeah. you stand out. Yeah. And it's, so it's the motivation. group mentality. Yeah. If this if this guy next to me is doing it and he's got a new hip and he's yeah. seventy five, yeah. I can't be like I'm a little bit exactly. tired. Move your legs. So what I'm thinking is we're skipping. Like you know when you were saying doing the circuits and stuff. Circuits don't work with me either no. because I just feel fed up immediately when yeah. it's like Sense you know climbing dread. on the floor doing them. Ah, oh, they're so hard that it's just too hard, and yeah. then I just don't want to do it. Yeah. Whereas skipping is kind of like fun. It's like and you don't really obviously you know you're doing it because your heart rate's going to be up but it's just one of those activities that i know i'll just do do you know what i mean where would you do it just on the patio i know what next to the sofa no i'm just going to do it down the side near the bins yeah near the bins <laughs> <laughs> skipping near the yeah, bins i'll be near the bins morning bob yeah do you know what's going to yeah, be amazing be is our next door neighbor's going to see your head yeah, just just fine. intermittently coming up yeah, like yeah, you're on a little yeah. trampoline. But you you scoff at this, right? But the woman, this woman, I, I'm just going to tell you her name because I really do think she's... Well, you said fit, fit at 50. Well, no, it's 50 sister. So she's 54 and she just made this huge change to her life. Well, I say huge, but yeah, she's she's made a, a conscious decision to change things. Her name's Gail McNeil. Right. Um, follow her on Instagram. Like I say, it's a uh, fifty sister, and all this is from skipping, yeah. Yeah, and I'll tell you these. Tell well, you, I, I, I saw that she Look, said this is her. I'm just showing Scott now her skipping. Okay. Well, this is this is using the kettlebell, but she of does stuff. mainly use yeah. just skipping. It's keep fit in it. No, it's. Uh, I'm telling you about skipping. Skipping is the the key here, and there's this article here. Isn't it a weighted rope though? Well, this is the thing. I've ordered my skipping rope from a company called that she uses called Dope Rope. And um, and, and, they're a specialist. How much was it? They're specialist in fitness. Well, if you put in her 50 sister. So she's on a kickback sponsorship. Well, she's got massive followers. So she's obviously been tapped up for sponsorship. Right. Um, She's got an advert for it, obviously, because she's got masses of followers. I see. Does she skip or does she skip when she has to sell skipping ropes? No, she skips. This is what she did to gain her fitness. Skipping is what's lost her her weight. Right. And there's massive benefits for skipping. So when you're. It sounds ridiculous, but bouncing up and down. And she did say, obviously, for girls, the I importance think, of a good bra. Well, can I say to you, yeah. I think of a better exercise, bouncing up and down, that doesn't involve a skipping rope. What? It involves me. Oh, what? Oh, God, that was lame. That was so lame. You were half listening. Yeah. It wouldn't have been funny so, if you um, had been listening. Yeah, so um, skipping is basically what she's done. And dope ropes, um, they talk about the 10 main benefits of skipping. And obviously, it's heart rate. Actually jumping up and down and jiggling about the your, your cells of your body, move, you know, that kind of movement is good for toning. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I won't, I know I won't stick to doing 100 sit-ups a day. Forget it. I won't do it. I know so I won't boring. do it. Oh, yeah. And she, cha- it doesn't sound much, but she challenged herself to do, um, to go from zero to 2,000 skips a day in a month. Right, and that doesn't sound a lot, but it is a lot once you're doing it. That's about twenty minutes of skipping, is it? I'm not Half sure how many it is. How does that equate to? Um, all right. anyway. I'm not sure, but anyway, so yeah, dope ropes, and they do all sorts of different types of ropes. But this one that she's recommended is yeah, it's weighted, but it's not weighted on the handles. And she says you can progress to that if you want a bit of extra weight to tone up your arms. And she says she saw the benefit of that within a month mm. of using a weighted but rope. But you have got to get because again, I really would like to work on my um, arm toning and stuff. But I know for a fact, I will not do weights. I won't. No. I won't do weights. There's, I could go out and buy myself the fanciest set of dumbbells you want. And I know for a fact, within a day, They'll I'll get bored. Garage. Yeah, They'll I won't do it. The barbecue. I won't do it, Doc. Uh, are you going to... So I need to tap into what I know I'll do. And you need a decent bra. 
because they oh, were yeah, all a decent bra, smacking yeah. yourself in the chin. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Because I, I, I always thought, and this is, a, I remember thinking this when I was younger, boxers have the greatest training. Oh, I mean, it's probably more than just skipping. But No, but, no, but in terms of all-round training. Well, you know what else it's good for? balance it's mm. good for mental agility because you know like the counting and all that yeah. sort of, and coordination it's good for your brain in that well, sense i think boxers I always, of benefits. I always thought the boxers had the greatest mm. sort of like the skipping the running yeah, yeah, the sparring yeah, yeah. I, I just didn't want to be punched in the face no so i sort of either. i wanted to go to a boxing club do the and boxing said training, but i'd like boxing. to do all the training and then yeah. they went you want to spar and i was like mm -hmm. yeah do you want to put some headgear on i'm gonna miss that week yeah no thanks can i do extra skipping do you know what I mean? It'd be like a kid at games who had a note from his you've mum. Got a very, you've got a very pretty face as well. So I, you don't want to get I that do box. not want to be punched by another no, man. No. I'm never ready to be punched by no, someone. No. I'm, I won't be ready. I've gone through my life without hideous. being hit in the head. Yeah. Uh, so I'd like to do all the training. Yeah. But it's um, I love watching videos of like Muhammad Ali. Skipping. Skipping. I and know. Like, and, and I think, I don't know if I mentioned this last week on the podcast. Sylvester so Stallone I love, did it. I love, Rocky. Yeah, I love anything that's like a, someone training against the boxing side of it. Yeah. Like when Muhammad Ali fought George Fraser. Yeah. George Fraser? Yeah. And they, he found out which gym he was in. So Muhammad Ali rented the gym across the road as a proper gamesmanship mood. So he could know when he was training and he knew when he was training. And then he said he would always find out how far George was running yeah. and he'd run three miles more. Yeah. And I love that. And always like he'd, he'd run alongside him every now and then just to sort of... I don't like that, you see. That's oh, I like stuff like that. No, that's nonsense. And like I, I told you about that middle distance. All <laughs> oh, right. No, go on. It's a man thing, isn't it? It's a man thing. I'm not into all that. Don't you like like you were with me in uh, the skipping? Yeah, and then... skipping definitely. I love the training and the self discipline. Well, it's like I said to you about Steve over and and uh, Seb yeah, Coe, yeah, yeah, when, when they had that rivalry. Yes, yeah. and then he, he, Seb Coe was in the Peak District at Christmas, and he and it was when the middle distance running was cool again because I, I didn't realize this. It was in eighty two, and it was like more popular than football. Mm. People in pubs were talking yeah. about it. They Athletics had it on went the, massive, Yeah, it went mass it? massive. And people were missing nights out to watch the athletics and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And then he said, like, uh, he said to Steve over there, they were talking and, and he was so terrified of each other, of their rivalry. There was so, it was so entrenched mm. that Seb Coe on Christmas Day got up, put his running kit on Christmas Day and did 16 miles around Mam Tour. I'm sure we told this story last week. I don't know. But, any, but anyway. Anyway, on. and then when he came back, mm. he, he was sitting there eating his Christmas dinner and afterwards he thought, I bet Steve Ovet's running. Mm. So he put his kit back on, went out again. They met each other years later mm. and they were sort of out for dinner and he says, I just want to let you know that on Christmas Day, I went out and I did that run and then I did another run and he went, oh, did you? Only go out twice. Brilliant. I'm really sorry if I always say this, but I'm really sure we've done that. I last don't week. care. No, but I do. No, People are just thinking we regurgitate the same stories. I don't think we stories. have done that story. We have. Oh. I've sat here and you've done that story twice now. Mm. Get some new stories, you fucking boring. Then <laughs> <laughs> we mentioned that I go to. I went to Notts County. Um, so. Notts County played yesterday and won again 3-0. So now they are top of the table of the Vanarama National League. So um, this means they're top Wrexham a second, Hollywood favourites, Wrexham. So this means on Monday, Easter Monday, they'll be playing Wrexham at the Wrexham ground. I've already looked. There's no tickets left. Wow. But, but it is on Sky, I right. think. So you can pay to watch it. Um, this is nail-biting stuff because... Wrexham are a game in hand. Mm -hmm. Is that right? They've got one more to play above us. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I think they might pip us to the post, but they did lose yesterday. Mm -hmm. But they've both got 100 points at the moment and not the top. Wow. This is going to be exciting. Wow, nail back. I love stuff. it. I love it. It's so exciting. I can, why don't you get a season ticket? Why don't you commit to being a proper fan? Well, because I don't think we'll be able to make it all the time. No, we won't. No, not if so you're I, skipping all yeah. day. You no, won't. no, it's not that. It's just we will go when we can. Yeah. But um, it's it's exciting stuff. I know it's not Premiership, but it's so exciting. I love it. I'll tell you what else is exciting. Go on. That Adam Simpson York yeah. sent me a message yeah. who listens to the pod. Hello, Adam. Mm. And he sent us a message saying, really enjoying the pod. And he sent us a picture from his wedding. I know. 
Did you see it? Do you know who the wedding singer was? Yeah, I've replied to him. It's amazing. Sam Ryder. Sam Ryder. I know, how uh, cool Because I is thought, that? when he sent me the picture, I, know. I thought, this is not even a real Sam Ryder. No, that's what I said to him, because I said to him, is that definitely him? Because obviously it was a couple of years ago, and he zoomed in on the photograph, did you see? Mm. And it definitely was Sam Ryder. It's Sam Ryder at your I know. wedding. How amazing is that? But then don't you think there's a whole market of that? It's weird, because I, I, I think... Someone said to me they were at a party once, like a, like a uh, someone's, uh, they were renewing their vows or something, and they they obviously had quite a lot of money, but they were out in this the country, and mm. then they said, right, it's time for the entertainment section of the evening. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a very special guest, someone who's uh, very close to the family. Please welcome, it's Tony Hadley, and he just sort of appeared, and you just straight in, so true. Funny how it seems. What they'd hide him for a wedding. Yeah, Spandau Ballet. But yes. it's just sort of a bit of a a mad moment, isn't it? When you're like, you yeah, can but, book these people if you've yeah, got but enough they're not, money. They're not obviously at the top of their game anymore, are Still they? Still a big ticket though, isn't it? Well, it depends. I mean, if you've got a lot of money. I mean, it's just like comedians, isn't it? You could hire any comedian you want if you've got the money to do it. Mm. And obviously there's different gradings of, of what you cost. Mm. But yeah, you do hear of singers being hired for stuff, don't you? See, I was offered, I was offered to, I didn't tell you about this, but some, they, they want to book comedians for sort of weird things. I was offered, someone says, do you want to come and roast our stag do? What? I know, it's a weird booking, isn't it? Yeah, that's weird. And I couldn't do it, but it's just not something that I'd want to do. But also, it doesn't come naturally to you. I I mean, Frankie Boyle, not, you know. But I would argue that any comedian... If you're on a stag do, so let's just say this, mm. you're organising a stag do mm. and you're with mates yeah. and some you know yeah. and some you don't. Yeah. Why would you bring in a stranger <laughs> who well, knows it's a novelty. nothing it's a novelty. to take the piss out yeah. of one it's of them? It's a novelty, isn't but it? But is it ever going to work? Well, I don't think it would. And I think it sounds an absolute nightmare. It sounds like a, a nightmare, doesn't it? Of like... But it's a bit like the Karen restaurant version of com- comedy. Yeah. So like you're paying somebody to... Basically, be the rude piss out to of you. you. Yeah, but I hate that idea as well. I don't. I just find I don't like forced anything forced. Yeah. So like, well, my cousin, I was. The, the fan, that's got why I ain't fancy. Uh, you know, I ain't fancy dress for that reason. Are you going to dress up on nineties night though? I hope you do. I'm going to put on a Fred Perry. I thought you were going to come as Liam Gallagher. I'm not proper going for it. Well, you'll you'll feel worse being standing out as not I'm, dressing up. Do you know what I mean? It's, it puts an edge on it for me. I think you'll I, enjoy it. A night out is a night out. Why make everyone we're going to force? Because we love it. We enjoy it. I hate fancy dress. I, I've got a real issue with it. Oh, come on, Scott. Pull it out. <laughs> Pull it out the bag. I don't know what it is. It's this idea You're not going to of... turn up. I think there's a fear that you're going to turn up and be the only person fancy in fancy there's dress. A, no. You won't be. Everybody really I goes for it. it. It's forced fun. I hate right, well, I've got fun. a few options for you. Uh, you know 90s, what? I thought we could go with Skinner and Badil. No, I'm not putting on wigs and shit. Right, or here's another one. We could go as um, Te- Ralph and Ted, fast show. That's 90s, That's isn't it? That's too niche. No one's going to know that oh, is. Okay. Do you know the thing is, I was just going to go as Britpop fashion. Should we go well, as... you said that's not good enough because no. I wear that normally. Should we go as uh, Liam and Noel? No, what... <laughs> I'll be Noel, you be Liam. Skipping. Yeah. Skipping in the yeah, corner. Yeah, should we do that? That could work. But I, 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 listen... The, the White stripes. That's too random, isn't it? That actually is a good costume. Yeah, but I'd have to walk around with a drum kit strap. No, you don't, have to have, you don't have to go that method. Just wear white and red. Okay. But the, the problem I've got with any fancy dress... Yeah. ...is this element of forced... This is we doing this. We're organising this because it's no, optional. I think the best nights out are always impromptu or organic, and it's like anything. Yeah, as but soon if you're organising you... a charity event, it's not going to be impromptu, is it? You have to organise it. Can I say there's always that moment? Say half, it, don't spray it. There's always that moment halfway through the night when I'm in the toilet and I've maybe had a couple of pints, yeah. and I catch a reflection of myself yeah. in my fancy dress when have in you the been stark in fancy dress? light, and I just think you look like a tit. <sighs> And is that moment the misery. crushing realisation? Come on. The shame. I really want you to embrace this. What, the fancy dress? Yeah. Okay, I'll go as Mel B. Yes. <laughs> yes. You keep headbutting the mic. keep headbutting the mic. Sorry, guys. That's a real spike to listen to. No, it, it's the forced thing. And like these restaurants, like when you, people yeah, so are rude. I was... like the idea of me roasting a stag do I've never met. Yeah. Do you know what I actually want to say to what? them? I want to say to them, guys, stop buying in charisma. Stop buying in personality. You should Ooh, as arrogant. all buying in charisma. What? That 
That's arrogance. It is. So arrogant. What I want Look, to say is, what? you're all adults, create your own atmosphere and fun and have a great night. You're talking yourself out of work. I it's know, nonsense. But I don't want to roast someone I've well, never don't, met. You're not doing it. I what know, are you it just, about? I just find it odd that that's even a thing. Okay. That they need. I mean, the the, the only time ever I've enjoyed fancy dress, yeah. and I'll tell you this, I went on a stag do. Yeah. And we there was sixteen of us. Yeah. And we all dressed as Elvis in but the same that costume. That was good. All it? dressed in the white Elvis jumpsuit. Yeah. And it was just the idea of being in Edinburgh and seeing 16 Elvises. But I bet you look twats. Yes. And we, you were annoying. We were 16 Elvises. You see, I would rather go to an event organised in a place where you're all safe <laughs> some point than there. walk around a city dressed up. There was a point. And people thinking they're a load of knobs. There was a point, though, when we tried to get in this nightclub. Yeah. And was the, this Belfast? And it was, it was uh, Edinburgh. Edinburgh. And there was a guy like, um, guys, I can't let you in because you're dressed as 16 Elvises. Yeah. It's I'm not just, surprised. It's just like, are you on a stag do? No. Yeah, exactly. He's but sticking out like a sore thumb. You, are you with the other Elvises? No, no it's just a coincidence. It's just a coincidence. <laughs> just, oh, fancy that. There's just such a moment. I've told, oh, this just just brings back memories, actually. this I've never said this, but this is so funny. Stag do's, it's so hard. Yeah. Because you, on hen nights, I yeah. think you do get in anywhere. Yeah. Don't you? Pretty much. Uh-huh. Stag do's, it's a little bit different because yeah. they, they, they trade off the fact that yeah. you're a stag do and there's been idiots there yeah. before. Yeah. So we've had stag do's where we've we've de- we've done it where we were in Brighton once. Yeah. We couldn't get in anywhere. Yeah. It was just a nightmare. 12 lads, we're yeah. not getting in anywhere. Yeah. And I remember two two of us sort of like, we saw, we'll split up yeah. 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 and we'll try and... Yeah. We'll try and go in in twos. And yeah. we're working out this strategy. Yeah. And we didn't realise that we were stood working out the strategy. Yeah. And the bouncer was just watching us work out the strategy. Oh, what? So, so as we came away. in in twos, he just he went... He was just like, nope. You've split into twos, aren't you? Yeah. 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 So you're all part of the same group? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen this before? Yep. yep. So we're not getting in an ear? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> just set us off into the night. Do you know you where absolutely. we ended up? We we actually got into one place, right? This was amazing. Wagamamas. No, let me... Go on. <laughs> Wagamamas! Yeah. yeah. We got to this one place, and it was in Brighton, and we went up these stairs, and then the two, we split up again. Mm. Two of them got in, and then we turned around and went, we're in, we're in! And everyone was dead excited. We got in, and then we realised why we'd been let in. Yeah. Gay a, club. A gay club. Yeah. And we stayed. We had a great night. But I'm surprised they let you into that. Why? You're just not... We're good looking You're not lads. stylish enough. Just not stylish no, we enough. We weren't dressed as Elvis as we just yeah, in normal. True, that was a normal clothes even line. So. But do you know what? I had mm. a great night. And so my advice... I always just think, well, we'll just stay... Because then someone was like, should we leave? I was like, listen, this is the best option. Yeah, yeah. I am not walking around Brighton anymore. No, no. We're in now. Yeah, let's do it. I'm getting on that podium. Yeah. Get on. I'm going to... Da- I am dancing, mate. Yeah. I don't care. The communards are coming on. Is it the communards? Or whatever it was. But it was a great night. Brilliant. Um, awesome. So, yeah. So good. This Karen restaurant. Oh, yeah. So they're my- everywhere. No, they're not everywhere. Oh. Are they? You're very... You're very... Contrary. Today you are, yeah. Sorry, but they're not everywhere. I'd like you to get I that skipping this- rope and piss off. No, but honest. listen... Yeah. You just said they're everywhere, and I think there's three. So I, I can't let that go. They're not everywhere, you are they? You don't have to be accurate, you know. But no one's fact But they're checking. not everywhere. All That's right. a bit of an exaggeration, isn't it? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry they're everywhere, okay? They Do you want me to everywhere. say that? Say they're it. everywhere. Where right, are they? Fine. Everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my cousin says... Forced she- fun. No, it's not forced fun. It's forced rudeness. Oh. So, um... I can't wait because my cousin showed me um, a clip of the um, Davina McCall game with her family and it did look hilarious, I have to say. So I personally, I would like to experience this just as a just as a novelty. I just think it would be good fun. So Ali went last night. She took her kids? She, no, she, she took the kids and she took her friend for a birthday. Oh, happy um, birthday. Be shouted at by someone on £7.20 an hour. Well, no, they said, uh, well, from what I've seen on socials, it, it now, was good, it? good fun. Um, oh, right. But I will ask you, her for a full report. Do you sign something? No. To say you can't 
tweet or complain or because you must but you can do what you like what are you on about because if someone says something really really offensive to you or personal and you like we're in a world of that at the moment if they said something like I don't know if it escalated and they called you a nonce and you were I don't know they wouldn't do that they would they I don't know what the grounds there must be limits on what they can say I bet they can't say anything personal of course a personal appearance yeah yeah. they must not be able to no because otherwise it's just yeah yeah you know so go on well, that's it. That was it. I was just saying, I'm going to ask her for a full report and see what We should what have she had said. that today, really. Oh, sorry about then that. Then we could have carried on this Would point. you want me to ring her live? No. Okay, fine. But I, it's, I don't know, I've seen those things and I just think, oh, God. Well, we won't go then. I, no, I want to go. Oh, for <laughs> God's sake. I think it'd be good to feed back. You, they're going to absolutely feast on you. What do you mean? You have got that look about you that you need to be broken. <laughs> They'll look at you and go... Yeah, he's a he's a resistor. We're going to get him. He yeah. doesn't want forced jollity. I am in in a in a forced environment. I, I'm really weird when I'm relaxed. I'm going to make you dress up as Elvis when we go as well. When I'm relaxed, I'm good <laughs> socially. It's just when there's like forced, weird factors. Stuff. So like sitting there. In fact, when I'm self conscious, that's it. Mm. When I'm self conscious, mm. that's not unusual, is it? No, of course it isn't. No. You know, no, I'm sat there. You're bound to feel a bit on edge when you go to these places. Yeah, but also as well, fancy dress. I'm sitting there in a social club yeah. with fake eyebrows on, yeah. pretending to be Liam yeah, Gallagher. Yeah. There's a moment where I just think, I don't feel at my best. No, no. That's, that's, well, that's fine. And that's then, fine. Then you have to drink so it doesn't matter. No, you don't have to And I've all. still got nightmares. And we mentioned this ages ago is mm. when we went out in Halloween at Loughborough and we weren't even students anymore we weren't we no we we were with our friends who we used to go to uni with right and we weren't we weren't students anymore okay. so we were out of that world I don't remember and that. we went to a restaurant and we went out in yeah. fancy dress and we looked as Halloween. Stupid. we were the only ones oh. and I still have that moment where I'm sat there in a bar dressed as Freddy Krueger oh. people thinking I'm a student but I'm not a student and even the students thinking I look like a dick Oh dear. And that's scarred That's a low me. moment, isn't that's it? That's scarred yeah, me. That's Sitting not good. there having a Chinese buffet in a stripy <laughs> thing with a glove you of knives. You did look good though. You did look good. Ironically, I was com- that's the thing what's cruel about fancy dress. I was comfortable with that costume. Mm. I thought I've nailed this. Yeah. And then I was usurped by walking yeah. out into a world that wasn't fancy dress. Yeah, yeah. Can you understand why there's a trauma? I can do it. Yeah, I can. I looked online yeah. this week. This is interesting. Sainsbury's have come... There have been a lot of people complaining in Sainsbury's. Why? Because they've started vacuum packing their mints. Right. 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 So it's to save... Plastic. Plastic and yeah. the environment. Yeah. So mints, as you see mints... Yeah. We see mints, it looks like a ribbon. Yeah. Like a pillow of yeah. meat. Yeah. Right? And they've now done it, so it looks like luncheon meat. It's like flat. Yeah. It's, it looks like wafer thin am. Yeah. It's really compressed. It? Yeah. Do you want to see a picture? Yes, please, because I can't, I can't quite get my head around what you're talking about. I mean, about. it doesn't help for the people who are looking on the pod, but um, right, here we go. So let me just... Well, they can Google it while we're doing this. So if you want to play along at home, just Google now, flat packed. Okay, so... Okay, I can see it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what we normally would see, and that's what we're seeing. So it looks now. like corned beef. Does it? Does it bounce back up when you cook it? Though? Well, this is what people are saying: is that it's a pain in the ass to cook because it takes ages for it to. It's not like memory foam pillows. No, that's right. It's not right. memory yeah. foam mints. Do you know what yeah, I mean? It doesn't yeah, yeah. spring. No. Oh. Ah, you're so springy. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, but look at that massive oh, one. Oh, stop it! Oh, he's so spitty. Stop it being spitty. I'd have rolled with that, you see. Yeah, no, I can't roll with that. It's disgusting. It has sprung back into action. Yeah. And sort of like, we've got some memory foam, yeah. some sprung load you of... You keep hitting your wire. Do you know what? Stop this. Stop this commentary. Let you do. You are interrupting you my hit flow. the wire. Stop interrupting my flow. Sorry. Stop it. Sorry. Sprung back. Uh, it's a nightmare to cook. But then people are like going, ugh. Yeah, it doesn't look like mince. And then people are raising a really good point. Go on. What do you want your dead meat to look like? (laughs) 
Because the the fact is, this brings us to a really important. But this, but we we have discussed this because, well, we've touched on it before in the sense that. Don't you think it's interesting? It is interesting because we it's double standards, isn't it? Totally. But, but I'm not saying that it's malicious double standards. I just think you do eat with your eyes. It's what you used to. But also, it's like the idea of. So if how... it looks slightly different to what you used to, you're like, ooh, but actually, it's no different. I like my dead animals to come in a form that's acceptable to my eyes. Yeah, and exactly. And that, that is a weird thing to say. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah. Because because. This is a thing we we separate as much as we can yeah. the animal from sorry the animal I'm very weird today the animal <laughs> from the actual produce because yeah, yeah. actually I think deep down even vegetarians mm. or even people who eat meat yeah. don't like the idea of killing animals. Of course really. they don't. Yeah, of course so, they don't. So you have to have that removal that, that it's packaged. Yeah, yeah and, nicely. And in your head, you just go in, it's just food. It's just like That's anything right. else. Yeah. So when it's changed, it, then it looks at unappetite. People are like, well, you didn't care before about yeah, the moral yeah, side of yeah, it. Yeah. So why visual? It's just a visual thing. Yeah. But it's really interesting how it, 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 it's, it's cited some people's reaction. Well, let's just think about this. If, if, Animal heads were still attached to all the meat. So if you imagine going into Sainsbury's and there's just pigs lying there and mm. nobody would eat it. No. You wouldn't. Well, it's re- I had a really interesting chat with someone. A little baby lamb lying in your freezer section. Well, I had an interesting, no interesting chat about why yeah. pigs, because we keep them in farms and they're smelly and they maybe mm. not look as aesthetic. Mm. They, they, we consider that we consider us to be above them. Mm. So we dominate them. So we eat them. Mm. Whereas dogs, cuddly, We've got them as pets. Yeah. We're not. We would never dream of doing that no. because we're not. We see them as on a level. Mm. We see them as companions, yeah. and I think that's really interesting. Yeah. Psychologically, yeah. we we put that visual judgment yeah. Yeah. on on things, and so with the meat side of it, I'm like. It's just very interesting because there's also, and I want to show you this, because I started Googling around this. I'm fascinated by this, food mm. ethics. Mm. I am, because I think there's something going on psychologically. Because I think everyone's, this woman does a plant-based diet, the skipper, doesn't she? Yes, yeah, she does. And I think that's where we're going to go. Gail McNeil. I think we will end up all being on plant-based, plant-based diet in yeah, about 10 yeah. years. Because well, I think- I'll tell you what, I love kick- uh, kicking. I've done a lot of cooking recently with corn chicken. Yeah. Uh, chicken pieces well i made a curry the other night tasted great i've made um chicken stew with it tasted great obviously i i use corn mince a lot with the veggie bolognese with the chilies i've made i've made lasagna it tastes good well let me just say this is the other thing Mm. sainsbury's is introducing a touch-free package packaging for raw chicken for people who hate touching the meat Oh, this is ridiculous. You say that, so it's basically pre-chopped chicken breast yeah. in a pouch like yeah. cat food, yeah. which is obviously going to be really expensive. Yeah. And you do it because you want the chicken. But you just don't. But I don't want to deal with any of it. Yeah. Right? Now, someone, like a lot of chefs have waded in on this yeah. and said, if you don't want to touch and be with, you shouldn't really be eating the meat. No. Because you, you've got to, you either embrace the fact that you're eating yeah. that. Yeah. And so you, you're part yeah. of one with yeah. the, um, the produce. ingredients, the yeah. produce. Yeah. Or you just don't do it. Yeah. But I mean, it's, don't you think it's interesting that people have switched? Yeah, but there's a lot of people who live, like who eat takeaway all the time, who eat, at, I mean, if you've got the money to eat out all the time, You'll never have any relationship with making the food. But do you want to see what people have said about this uh, packaged mince? Yeah. This is some of these comments. It's very medical. Oh, God. I, it's too compressed. I feel like I've bought a kidney. <laughs> That's the best one, isn't God's it? God's sake. But it's like, mate, this is, this is me. I know. What do you want? I know. It's fucking brilliant what they're saying. So basically, they're saying like... Uh, it is It is basically, they said it does not look appetising. And I'm just like, well, it, mince doesn't look appetising. No, it doesn't. I never, you never look at mince and go, mmm. Yeah, and actually, for me, I sometimes feel like it smells a bit dog. Yeah. A bit wet dog. When you open mince. it up. And there's always that little serviette. The little, there's always a little wet wipe under the mince. Yeah. Have you noticed that? Yeah, the, the soaker. Little, the little soaker wet wipe. Mm. Now you say it, you see. Yeah. We should be veggie. I think, that, I think, we've got a re, we, you've got your facial reaction. Then was yeah. Ugh. I think we could be veggie because we don't eat a huge amount of meat. Yeah. Oh, this is really. I mean, it feels wrong to say that the main reason I don't want to eat meat is because of a health reason. 
you know, you'd hope it'd be the principle of killing animals. This isn't that, though. This is about the environment. Because then, yeah. then they've said... Because I think for me, the option that would work best for me is to still potentially eat meat when I go out for a meal as a special occasion. And every, you know, if I go to somebody's house and they prepare me a meat based meal, I will eat it happily. But I think mainly at home, I'm cooking more plant based stuff. Well, this is the thing. They said, someone said shelf appeal matters when you've Mm. been making spag bowl once a week because it's a staple. Mm. If you're doing spag bowl once a week for 20 years for your family, the last thing you need is, is to be presented with like a new way of doing it because apparently it takes ages for it to to get but like back i say i form. use a lot of corn so and, and they want less packaging but they aren't compromised this is a step too far that's uh, what people have said they want to save the planet but it's a step too far I don't but know. then you just go i don't know i mean it's like you 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 always freak out a little bit with chicken i think you no you, i don't i don't you freak cut out with away chicken. a lot of the chicken I, no but i don't want any veiny bits and stuff i cut all of that, that out bit of the yeah, white bit you, well it's a yeah i got rid of all of that this must be yeah and then but you but this then isn't you're great always, for a veggie listening. but then you're always like when we've done chicken it's almost like a csi cleanup there's been no, a murder I, no. don't touch that board don't touch that knife that's had chicken go on the way don't use that flannel that's got chicken remove no chicken. no i don't touch anything with a flannel I don't know, but what you you, said, you you got contractually obliterated. No, but what chicken. I do is if I've cut the chicken up because I use those meat scissors. Mm, I to don't cut like it. scissors. Um, You've got knives, mate. Don't no, use I use scissors. It's so much easier, and then you don't need to contaminate a board or anything with it. And then I just make sure I wash my hands straight away. And don't then the touch kids use them for arts and crafts. No, and then I put can the scissors straight the, in the dishwasher because then they're cooked. They're cleaned at a really high heat. Mum, can you pass me the chicken scissors? No. But yeah, it's it's very interesting. So it's just in like I you know said, Sal's going very much veggie, and Piper this week was veggie. She said veggie, and for the principle of not killing animals, mm. not because of a health thing necessarily. Mm. I think the problem is if we switch to a health diet, a non meat diet, we'll start eating more cheese. I don't agree with that. I've cooked, like I say, quite a lot of corn-based stuff this week and the kids have really enjoyed it. Do you know what we need? We need a programme. Like, I've thought about this. We need to mm. be weaned off it. So you need like, you know what? You get patches for smoking. Yeah, meat patches. <laughs> a little bit of wafer Just thin like ham. Just like wafer thin ham on your Just arm. Just to sort of take you. Yeah. And then like every now and then, yeah. vapour Cumberland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just suck on a Cumberland. Uh, I can imagine like people outside pubs mm. with long trench coats going, mm. mate. Yeah. Do you want to buy a griddle? Yeah. Right. George Foreman. Got some, yeah. got some uh, chipolatas just come oh. straight out of. Proper chipolatas, yeah. mate. 100%, 100% pork, mate. Not being cut with anything. Now, can we talk caravans? Oh. Please. Oh. Can I just say, guys, Go right? On. This is one itch that is never getting scratched. This. What we, do you mean? What do you mean? It's, there's no hope? No, there is hope. Okay. But it's, it's oh, like, can I just tell you, what this is like... I you going to say there was no is, hope of ever getting This is then. like, this caravan conversation yeah, yeah, comes yeah, yeah. round at least twice a month. Yeah. And yeah. It, it sort of rears its ugly head. Yeah. I mean, the, the last time we had this conversation, you joined the caravan club without a caravan. The other time we've had you... We, we, I get, I'll be at a gig and... <laughs> It's making me laugh out loud. The little WhatsApp starts charging up and we get links, don't we? We yeah. get, look at this one. Yeah. Look at this one. I'm yeah. about to go on stage and I'm hit by fucking touring caravans. Yeah. Pictures. It's only it's only this price. Look at this one. Look at this. You've worked out all the towing yeah. restraints, the yeah. weights. Yeah. I'm getting hammered with yeah. it. It's exciting. So basically... Um, Scott's really lucky because he was brought up with a caravanning family. Um, no, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. We did not, my, they didn't step to the, into the dark side of caravanning right. until I was about 12, 11. Really? Yeah, I was late. I wasn't a kid in a caravan. Ah, I was at so Olivia's you were late age. To the game. I was late to the game. So really, Ross got the full, Ross full barrel. Ross had the full caravan. Okay. Thing. So, um, I said full barrel, then I meant both barrels. Um, <laughs> I did get me idiom, idioms mixed up. Um, so basically, Ross, Scott's brother, um, texted us this week and he was in a caravan showroom. Okay. And you were instantly. Jealous. I was like, 
Oh my God. You like, Can you live stream it? No, Can I was like, I please, please say this is true. Please, please, please say this you is true. You were happening. like, what's it smell like? What's yeah. the atmosphere? So they are looking at these amazing caravans. I was just like, oh, this is so It's good. the worst thing that you, someone could have said to you because it's like, it's literally like your dream. It is. So um, they are definitely, I think, getting one. So, um, which is such good news because this is what we needed. We needed this kind of family pressure. <laughs> So straight away, Scott texted me and he was like, do you think we should get a caravan? I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. Do, you, do I think we should get a caravan? How many years have I been saying? And the only thing, that I, em, jealousy is a terrible emotion, okay? Mm. But I'm slightly jealous of you, your brother and, and my sister-in-law because the caravan they're getting is absolutely mint. But that said, what I am very grateful for is it has reignited... Um, a bit of a, a, a sort of motivation in you to get one. Now, um, I'm still really set on getting the layout that I want, which is, now this is where we differ from your brother. So your brother and Holly are looking at the rear bedroom that's double, right. Right, a double bedroom. I think the opposite. I think we should get a s- s- twin bedroom that you can seal off so the kids can go to bed and we can shut them in there. Yeah. And then we are left with the living area for ourselves. Um, That means we can go to bed when we want. We can still make a cup of tea. We can still have the lights on and then we can make our bed in the double area and they can be sound asleep in bed. And I think that's the better layout. I like that. But I I just, if I was getting anything, I quite like the motorhomes. Yeah. So let's talk about this because you're an absolute (laughs) idiot. People don't want to hear this. It's they do. boring. No, it's not boring. It's just the idea of me to... I, You're scared I, of towing, aren't I'm you? I'm scared I know to, what's going I'm on. I'm frightened. And I'm not frightened of I'm it. I'm frightened. I'm going to be driving along with my big wing mirror, my flip-up glasses with the lenses on, yeah. like a proper dad. I'm going to have my millet's trousers pulled up to my yeah. nipples, yeah. pulling over at services. Yeah. And then I'm going to be trying to get round Devon with single track roads. I've got a vision, right, mm. of having this caravan, yeah. towing it, yeah. being in Devon, the yeah. Yeah. Kids are in the back singing. Yeah. We're on our way to his first caravan on holiday. Yeah. I go down a single track road and, and then I see a tractor coming up mm. and he won't move and I'm towing and I'm fucked. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. I've only just learned to tow. But I Right think... is left and left is right and I can't go backwards. We're here all night. That's a good little rhyme. Yeah. But I think initially we just go to wide road places. <laughs> so basically... Yeah. Anywhere near the we'll services. We'll turn left all the way and we go to wide road places. So basically you just say to the caravan club, yeah. we need left turns yeah. and we need wide roads. Do you do any caravan sites on airfields? Yeah. On disused <laughs> airfields? Yeah. yeah. So I'm really, really happy to tow, by the way. I just think... You've got that sort of confidence of a, yeah, of a I, HGV driver though, I really you? have. You'd love, I just think, let's just do it. Let's just go for it. And I just... Like I said to you, the only thing I feel envious of about your brother is that he's seizing it now while the kids are really little. Because I do feel like we've missed out on some really precious years with Liv. Because um, she's obviously 13 this year. But not but everyone gets... Don't put this pressure on us. Not everyone has a caravan. No, I know. I understand that. I understand that. But I just feel like... I don't know. Some certain circumstances are happening at the minute. And I just think, let's seize this moment. Let's Let's really... You know, it's not... I'm not asking us to, um, it's not unachievable for us to get a second-hand caravan. I think we can do this. And I do think we will really, really enjoy it. Like this holiday, we could have just booked like three nights here, three nights there. It doesn't have to always be like a week or two weeks away. And you don't have to go that far to actually have a really nice time. You know, like just getting to Chatsworth and having a few days there. Or I just think it's a really lovely way to be in the outdoors um, this is the official pitch, isn't it? It's the official pitch. So <laughs> Ironically. Um, yeah. So anyway, yeah. I just, I feel really buzzed up about it. But I think the first step for us, and if you'll agree to this, okay, is we should go and just have a look. It's always that, isn't it? Let's go and have a look. We will have a look and then we'll have an argument. No, 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 no. Let's go and have a look and see if we get a feel for stuff. I just fancy... And talk to some... like because the well, place Talk I, to some other talk, caravanners. Talk to some experts because I, the place I'm thinking of is going, I'm not necessarily saying we have to buy from them. Um, we could still look on eBay. But Mansfield Caravans have been... I'm not... This is not... Um, we're not getting paid <laughs> to say this. What a weird plug. I know. If we did an... We need to do an advert. Yeah. Uh, Welcome to Bennett's Mansfield sponsored by Mansfield Caravans. 
caravans. Caravans for you at and Mans- your family. Caravans for you at Mansfield yeah. Prices. Caravans suited just to just mainly wide roads. Mansfield provide. You know, we go from Mansfield to a farmer's field. Yes. Caravans for you. Yeah. Well, basically, um, I think it'd be good to go and talk to them because they will know straight away. They'll be able to do all the calculations of weight and towing and they'll be able to and we'll be able to go and actually physically look around a host think... of caravans with different layouts. I want us to get the feel do for you know the layout. know what it's like, though? It's like giving the keys to the sweet shop and then we have to buy. We'll be under pressure. No, we won't be under pressure. That's nonsense. They'll pressure us. No, that's nonsense. If you buy today. Scott. If you buy today. Right. Anyway, I'm just leaving it with you. I'm leaving it with you. Okay? I will mull it over. Good. I do want a motorhome, though. Yeah, I know. And basically, listener, we keep going over this. And I'm going to tell you the reason why we can't get a motorhome. If you want a decent-sized motorhome, so for birth, you're looking at 25,000 plus secondhand for a decent one. Because not only are you buying the living quarters, you're having to buy another vehicle, which will have to be taxed. It will have to make sure it's got, you know, running costs. You'll have to make sure that when you get to your destination, you've got a way of getting around. It's got, it's not considering any of this. Cause once you're pitched up and you've got all your own in there, I know you can get away, drive away awnings where you just leave your awning standing. Not a fan of that. If I'm honest, um, Scott's Bikes. not thinking. No, you're you're so unrealistic. If you're staying at a caravan site miles from anywhere else, you can't get the kids to cycle five miles into a town. It's good for your health. It's no, good for the environment. You're, this is nonsense. Get this on is your nonsense. Bike. And also, I don't think you get as much room in it, it unless you got the money to buy a really plush camper van you haven't got the space you've got but in you said quick to disconnect a motorhome you just pull the ship pipe out wobble the water pipe out you're off yeah easy as that i don't know then you said then you said to me which did trigger my oh mm. my anxiety you said imagine trying to rep- reverse park a motorhome on a seafront in a tight space yeah it's basically i want a caravan but i want someone to drive it around for me you've got me i'm there I'm more than capable of towing a van. I can't wait to see you. I can imagine you in Long a little... Long distance car. <laughs> I can imagine you in a little baseball cap. Yeah, I want in one a little... that says this is my caravan. In a proper... I love caravan. I bet you'd that. even wear trousers, wouldn't you? Put put some little chinos on, little white trainers. No, I'd have shorts on. You'd have a little bum bag. I can imagine I'd, you having I'd a little a bum, bum bag. bag. I'd love a bum with bag. With your little keys in. Yeah. And then you'd be I checking... I want his and hers caravan mugs. <laughs> I can imagine Mr. you and Mrs. Caravan. I can imagine you kicking the tires like that, smoking a roll up, mm. looking at the tow bar, going, "Yeah, it's just adjusted." Can we get the motor mover out the boot, kids? I can't wait. I just can't it's going wait. to turn you into a trucker, it's mate. It's brilliant. It's bloody brilliant. I can imagine you getting quite good at it. I am. I am going to enjoy t- this. All right, then. I tell you what, we will do this. This is empowerment. We will look at getting one, mm. Mm. and you can tow. Thank you. And I will be a passive person. Are we doing? I will. I will connect the water. Mm. I will. Are we going to? Are we going to uh, allow shitting in the caravan? A little bit of a moment of thought there. Well, I'm going to say. There's always no, rules listen, with caravan. Listen, listen, listen. What do I do? You shit in li- the listen! caravan. Listen. God's sake, he goes on. <laughs> Imagine this <laughs> trapped in a fiberglass box. It's going to be great. No, it's going to be great. It's going to be mate. great. No one thinks it's going to be the, great. When they're hearing this tension on the pod, no oh. one thinks, you know, when we should put this in a confined space. Well, you know what? We'll be recording the pod in that bloody thing. Great idea. I know. Live from the van. That Live could, from the caravan. See? Oh, this is going to be Fuck good. Fuck it. Buy it. It's tax deductible then. It could be a f- tax it deductible. Could, it could be a great a mobile, studio. Mobile studio tax deductible. Now I'm in. Right. Now I'm in. But basically, what I was going to say was. Um, I think the main rules about pooing is that caravan sites these days have got such great facilities. Yeah. So if you can manage it, get get to the toilet at the at the shower. Block. If you can manage it, yeah. get to the toilet. That's good Obviously, advice. That's you, good advice in life. Most people. If don't, you can manage it, most go. people don't shit during the night. So I think if you get oh, the, I do, mate. Really? I do at least four. If you get caught short in the night, obviously go on the on the toilet in the van. But if you can, do your pooing in the shower I block. I would say... And don't you... I, I, as a rule, won't be using the shower on board. I will go to the shower block. I would say... I will literally use it for number ones and brushing my teeth. I said, well, you need to have the rule that I had when I was kids. Mm. We had a toilet in the caravan, but then it got filled with coats because my mum wanted extra room. But there yeah. was a one rule was... Yeah. 
if you do need the toilet in the night, yeah. you can use the internal toilet, yeah. but only if you're a child. Yeah. If you're an adult, you haul your ass to yeah. the toilet yeah. block. Yeah. Yeah. There's, a, there's a weird moment, though. I used to remember at caravanning. There's a weird moment at three in the morning when you have to go to a toilet block yeah. and you're sort of bleary and you yeah. forget you're on a caravan site yeah. and you have to get... And then there's that moment, I had it, where you're tired yeah. and you forget where your caravan is. Yeah. And you think, am I going to end up walking into someone else's? Yeah. No, I won't think that. The, the, I tell, did, did my mum and dad ever tell you about, because I used to sleep in yeah. the caravan with, near the window. Yeah. And there was an awning. Did they yeah. tell you about this? No. So there was like a big flappy window, those caravan flappy windows. You slept and in the awning? No, I used, I slept in the caravan bit. Oh, right. And, but then one night I rolled out of the window. What? And then landed, stay, stayed asleep, but slept in the awning next to the microwave. That's weird. Yeah. Isn't it? It's really weird. Oh, someone's at the front door. You go and do that. Oh, do I have to? Please. Oh, please. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, not a great time. Hi, guys. Just to let you know, I just answered the door and it was someone canvassing for a, a political party. And I did the uh, the bit that we talked about the other week where you just went, just li- I just literally said, not no, a good time. I said, not a no, good time. She, no. didn't, she didn't even get a chance to open a clipboard. Well, not a good time. Well done. Who canvasses on an Easter weekend? They know you in. They know you are in. But it's like this is Jesus's weekend. It's Don't not keep political. Don't saying that. You're not religious. Stop it. It's this annoying is week- me. This is a weekend for JC. It's not a weekend for yeah. political parties. Yeah. So I fell out, landed in the awning, was still asleep. It's Very not a good. great story. Well, you finished it anyway, so that's fine. So I think you need to be the tower then. Yeah. Is that I'm, what you're going to say? I'm you're really, very confident about I'm that. I'm really happy to tow. Look. As you know, for quite a while, I have been contemplating doing this on the sly, getting a really cheap fixer-upper. I'm glad you didn't do that. Well, I'm not, because it would be uh, so exciting for me. He wants to come in. <laughs> I'm getting so annoyed with this. Just let that cat in. No, we're going to wrap him. up now. It can sit there. It's okay, in the while sun. we wrap up. He's yeah. a cat. Look. Yeah. What he does is he does that. He leaves his... Oh. He's fine. Don't awe him. I know. He's red hot. Hey. <laughs> He's looking into my soul. It's because that white cat's Stop there it. where it's threatening Stop him. it, Bob. Anyway. Yeah. This is... Sorry. Um, so, but I'm glad you didn't do your normal thing, which I was to... I would have loved to have done that, though. I really would. Oh, he really wants to come in. He's mewing. Oh, you're distracted. Yeah, mewing. Can't you he's... ignore a cat? No, he's mewing. Let him in. He's scared. Sorry, guys. This is... Get in. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Right. Thank you. Um, yeah, I... I would have loved to have done my own van up though, Scott. And I'd have, and what my, my plan was um, to get my tow bar fitted and then get this little lovely little caravan. Yeah. And then just surprise you with a little couple of nights away. Oh, it away. would be a surprise. It would be a surprise. Surprise me with a couple of nights away. Yeah. But the, 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 it's not just a here's a few nights away. Mm. It's here's, here's a caravan. This. Yeah, here's a caravan. I think you'd have really enjoyed it though. What? Wouldn't you? Well, not everything has to be a surprise, you okay, know. Okay. I remember the surprises in my life. You knocking out the kitchen with a small hammer. Um, you ripping up carpets in our old house. Mm-hmm. That's what another one that you did and, and not telling me. And you buying me a shed. Yeah. Out of all the ones, the shed was the only one that was positive. The other okay. ones were fear. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm glad you sort of didn't act on it. But I, do you know what? We'll go and have a look. If that's okay. We will have a look at some caravans, people. I'd really like to. And we will report. Should we yeah. report back? Well, we could do a live video, couldn't we? Yeah. Looking Maybe well we around. can ask for their help on what they think we would mm. suit. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I know what you're saying. It's a great... when The the, the thing is, though, the weather's nice. I know. It's and in your me. head now, you've got a little thing of sitting outside. Yeah, a glass of wine. With a glass of oh, wine. Oh, wouldn't it be nice? Look, you see, look at you. Yeah. Oh. Wouldn't it be nice, though? Watching other people playing. arrive. The kids riding round yeah. on their bikes. Oh, it's going to be oh, lovely. little barbecue. Can we do that? Little lights Let's in the it. caravan. Let's do it. Let's buy one today. And we could go away next week. You, you're in your head, aren't you? You can see it. It's going to be nice. <laughs> This is what I have to put up with. It's going to be nice. I, I do love you so much, but you have these little moments and they never go until we result, until we either buy that thing, they never go. They just bubble under the surface. Are we allowed to say about parenting how? Yeah, we can. Before we go, 
Right. So um It's a big news. Big news, it's guys. Big news, everybody. So on Tuesday morning, Scott mm. got to record Parenting Hell with Josh Widdicombe and Rob Beckett. So I'd done the live shows yeah. two nights yeah. and they were great fun. It was a bit of a last minute thing and they said, We'll get you back on the pod. Yeah. And uh, you know, a lot of these things when when you're with comics and stuff. Sometimes people say stuff like, oh, we'll get yeah, you back. Yeah. And, it, and it never came to fruition. And anyway, fruition. And anyway, I was sat there one time the night mm. before, the Monday night, and I got a message saying, yeah. can you come on the pod at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning yeah. uh, and do it over Zoom? Uh, and I was like, obviously, yes. Yeah. So it was Tuesday morning, did it from the shed. Yeah. Because I said to them when I came on there, and I, I sort of made them laugh because I said... Did you say how big a fan I am? Yes. Good. Yes, Good. but uh, with, within reason. Okay, okay. I can't come across like an absolute lunatic. I know, but I am a massive But it's a fan. massive deal. So yeah. It's going to be a, it was a great record. We mm. did an hour and 15. Yeah. Uh, and it was such good fun. And I think I'm going on again. What? Yeah. Have you got so much to say? Yeah. About being a parent? Yeah. And oh, we God. gelled really well. Yeah. But the, what, the interesting what thing. you think. <laughs> <laughs> well, you ought to hear what they said to me. Anyway, so okay, it was 9am and I yeah. said to him, I said, this, you know, this is a parent in yeah. pod yeah. because in anyone else's world, mm. if you'd have said to another comedian, we're recording a podcast mm. when 9am that have gone, are you on glue, mate? Yeah. But when your parents, you go, 9am is the middle of the day. Yeah. 9am yeah. is, a f is, we're up at seven. Um, don't look at me like that. You're but not. In parenting world, 9am yeah, yeah. is not early. No, I know. Then I sort of said, I made him laugh because I said it was, I thought you were in Australia. <laughs> Because that's how early it is. Yeah. Like, I thought, oh, they must be in Oz because that's why we're doing this daft record time. But it was great. They always record that early because if you listen to the pod, you'll realise that that's how early they record. Well, it's a great time to do it. So I, I had a good coffee. I went in there. But the interesting thing about the pod is we got chatting and obviously it's about parenting and I've got loads of daft stories about being a parent yeah. and all this sort of stuff. But they asked me specifically to talk about um, Olivia yeah. and yeah. her CHI. Yeah. So it sounds like it's going to be a serious episode. It wasn't. No. It was lovely and light yeah. and we kept... But I effectively stole that story for yeah. 50 minutes yeah. and it was great. Yeah. I, I really enjoyed it. Well... Because they're fascinated by it. Yeah, because no one's ever said no. what it's like to have a kid who isn't very well. Yeah. And and, yeah. and there's a happy ending because obviously yeah. Olivia's fine yeah you know but um, so if you want to hear about that you're gonna to have to listen to parenting hell yeah and i don't know when the episode's out but i will uh yeah, share we'll it you know. all i'll be yeah. all over it yeah but yeah we're gonna go back on there to just talk i mean i had all the stuff down about mm. you know mm. olivia squirting paint in her eyes yeah. so they'll be back to normal service yeah. and we're gonna go and see it live i can't wait so i've got tickets to see I it live cannot we're gonna go along april we're the taking 19th. ali and dawn yeah, my we... cousins who are massive fans as well so we're going on april the 19th in nottingham i can't uh, wait and uh so yeah good. you know so it's it was great and thank you very much to those guys to get to get for getting me on i know um it's isn't it nice when other comics who obviously are i mean I, highly successful i did say to them um support the lesser successful thank comedians. you Gemma, for reminding me of that i did say to them would you like to come on our podcast and they said it would have no. absolutely no value no because no one listens and we haven't to got it time and we don't really know who you are no. so i said that's fine no problem. Yeah. I didn't, but, no you problem. Know, yeah. Thanks a lot. We do need to start doing guests on here, though. And I'm going to... I think we should well, do them you've on just, Zoom. you just answered that. Nobody will come on. People lower down the pecking order will. Oh, People from caravan shops. Well, let's interview a caravanner. Yeah. yeah. The caravanning podcast. No, we've done Nobody's this. Done that. Have they done This one? is what we do. Okay, fine. We can go what live else? from a caravan. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, it's Easter weekend, guys. I hope you've had uh, a, a, going to have a great Easter. It's. I think Easter's a really nice time of year. The sun is out. Big week for JC. <laughs> Stop saying about Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I did it last night at a gig. Oh, I said, God I opened sake. with big week for JC. <laughs> <laughs> You're a knob. I like him. He knew the value of an holiday. Shut up. Crucified on Just Friday. Stop now. Could have come That's back enough. on Saturday. It's enough. He came back on Sunday because we knew we'd get Monday off. Legend. Yeah. Yeah. You ate me riffing. Don't oh, you? Just stop it. This is why someone said to me, what's it like to do a podcast with your wife? I said, challenging. <laughs> because she knows everything about you. Yeah. So she cuts through. She doesn't mm. encourage. What you do is you don't encourage Cut my... Cut through the nonsense. You don't encourage my moments of stupidity. No. You shut them down. Yeah. Well done.
Okay. Um, yeah, so that means Gemma's now giving me the nod. Um, have a great week. Whatever you're doing. We're having a... It's a lovely day, isn't it, Gemma? So nice. It's a lovely so weekend. Beautiful. I really hope you have a lovely Easter weekend. Yeah. Um, I'm going to Bury St. Edmunds tomorrow. Sure is. I don't know why that's a thing. Yeah. But it's a thing. It's a beautiful theatre. Easter Sunday should be nice. Going to see my parents first. Big love to Up Mags to and Roy. Big love to Mags and Roy at the moment. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll have a great time. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you to everyone who listens to the podcast. Yeah. Um, we really, really appreciate. And shout out to our new patrons as well. Yeah. Well, we should do that on the Patreon one, really. No, but do it on here. Oh, do it on here then. Um, who's our new patrons? I'll bloody tell you. Just you tell just us right now, listening. Gemma. I'm going to fill while Gemma looks at the new patrons so we can thank Why them. Why is in. it? As soon as you say that, you can't put your password in into your phone right that goes wrong yeah, yeah. then you can't find the app because you're, you're under pressure for. isn't it anyway we're going to say hello to phil morgan luke williams lauren langley phil simpson and richard daniels thank you so much for thank you guys and girls the one people we love you all love um, you and alison john homer uh she's also wants a t-shirt she wants uh not about the biscuits t-shirt because ah, she had the builders i in. met charlotte yesterday the t-shirt maker Right. Well, she's at the charity event. Alison John Homer is baking cakes for her builders and doing bacon sarnies. She's going sweet and savoury. That deserves a T-shirt. Well done, Alison. We do. I do want to stress that when I said not about the biscuits, it's not just people treating builders well. Yeah, <laughs> that's where it seems to be headed at the moment. It's gestures of, you know, yeah, yeah. Well, like me saying yes to a caravan. Exactly. I really hope you do say yes. It's not about the caravan. Oh, God. It's about be keeping next our marriage That'll together. That'll be my next T-shirt. It's all about yeah. the caravan. I might I might get a t- T-shirt saying, she's towing. Towing. Yeah. Yes. 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 I think that's a good one. Yeah. If the caravan's rocking, don't come knocking. Towing, dragging the box behind. What you said, I've got a big wing mirror. Yeah. I don't know what else you'd yeah. have. I don't know what people do with Anyway, caravans. whatever. But if you see us in about this 10 years... This is the longest goodbye ever. Tootling along the M5, Gemma taking up four lanes, <laughs> driving at 46 Turning left mile all the way. Turning left all the way on our way to another airfield. Yeah. It'll be us and the family. Have a great weekend. Thank you so much for listening. Love you all. Love you all. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.